Well, hello there. And welcome to another of our videos taking a look at the Circuit Abbey G8 Intermix combination. And today I'm going to do a video more or less illustrating the different outputs that are available from the Intermix. And to do so, just for fun, I'm going to show you some audio frequency waveform generation tricks you can do with the combination of the G8 and the Intermix. So first off, our G8 is in clock mode, which means it's stepping through all of the triggers individually. And um, we have notice all the knobs on our one intermix in neutral, so we don't have any sound. We're driving it with a fairly high frequency square wave. So if we start bringing up knobs, we get about three octaves below because we're dividing it by eight. And depending on which knob we bring up, we either can get a more symmetrical wave, we can get a wider pulse, or if we skip places, we can add some harmonics to the wave. So basically you just sort of draw your own waveform by turning knobs. kind of cute, eh? So moving right along, since we have this nice visual sort of waveform, um, let me show you the different modes of output that are possible. So let's look at our first intermix here. The first intermix in my chain is connected using the max min outputs. So if we plug into the max, what we get is the positive going component of the waveform. And that sounds a little a little thinner. There's the regular waveform. There's the positive component. There's a little less amplitude. And um, but about the same timbre. Likewise, if we go ahead and bring in the minimum, what we will hear is the negative going. Again, a little bit of a thinner timbre compared to the full waveform. And it's only the negative going side of things. This may be maybe more of a control voltage application, maybe not. Depends on how you are, I guess. Now, the other option you have with the intermix is to configure things using the left-right summation. And this is jumpers on the back of the unit. I did a little how-to showing you where those were. So if I take the right-hand knobs, what I get now is something that's quite a bit different. Essentially, these guys are somewhat symmetrical. So you can see as the one goes up, the other goes down. So this is essentially the inverted sum. You can see that there as I move the one knob. So what we get is a subset of the voltages. And if I switch from left bank to right bank, I get a different subset. So that's kind of interesting. Now, just for some added fun, um, I'll show you the kind of waves you get with the different clock modes. And these are kind of a bit more chaotic kind of sounds. And to close out the video, I'm just going to step through a few of these and give you some noise and 
Thank you very much for watching. Check out the G8. It's a really useful tool. I'll have more videos soon.